All right, guys, Kentucky takes care of Chattanooga. Final score was 28 to 23. Very, very, very odd score against an FCS opponent. Normally, Kentucky does not struggle with these type of opponents, but, you know, this was a game where I thought our offense totally collapsed. I mean, we had, I mean, Will Levis had a terrible day, but a terrible day for Will Levis was two touchdowns and threw for, I think, oh, like, I think he threw for at least over 150 yards. So I didn't think his terrible day was terrible like we'd expect from UK quarterbacks in the past. Now, very shaky win, I'd say. Um, I'm very displeased with the performance. I don't think UK really deserved to win that game after how we played in three quarters. But I was real impressed with that fourth quarter, though. The pick six, the touchdown that put us up 21-16. We had a good fourth quarter, and we came alive finally. I don't know what you know was said at, you know at the end of the third quarter I, I, by the coaches. I just don't know, but finally this team looked like they actually really wanted to win. And the thing is, we had to win that game. I mean, it's like we can't lose to Chattanooga. I mean, come on, at home against an FCS opponent, we should not lose. And I was predicting us, here I was on Friday, sitting here saying we're going to win like 49-3. to We're going to blow this team out. It's going to be an easy win for Kentucky. But boy, was I wrong. And I was. I mean, I was totally wrong. We won 28-23. to That's a... And the thing is, we still scored touchdowns. We still scored 28 points. Our defense was a little sluggish, I'd say, but they're the ones who won the game for us because they came up with stops. They were holding them to three. Um, and, they, I mean, it's just that very last drive where they let them go down and score and make it a five-point game. That That was... I didn't like that, but again, we still won, and that onside kick, they almost recovered. I, you know, I almost thought we were about to let them get the ball back with that onside kick, and I would have been livid, and honestly, I, I would have been much more frustrated doing this video if we lost, so Kentucky fans, let's just be happy with the win, 3-0, and we got South Carolina next week, let's hope we can clean up the mistakes. Let's hope we play better. And now we got to go on the road at an SEC environment. So, anyway, guys. <sighs> Kentucky wins in a very shaky performance. But think about this. Old Kentucky probably would have lost that game. Our teams in the past would have lost that game. The thing is, we played terrible and we still won. I mean, Kentucky football is not known to do that. You know, we're just we're we're playing bad, but we're still winning. And the thing is, Chattanooga came in there; they had nothing to lose, right? They're an FCS opponent. They're you know they're just coming into an SEC school, and they just they got nothing to lose. They play loose. They can have fun. They can let it all hang out. They don't care. They're, you know, they got nothing to lose. The pressure was really on us. You know, we're 2-0. We're coming off that big Missouri win. We can't go into the next game thinking, oh, it's going to be easy for us. We're going we're gonna to dominate them. No, we kind of took them lightly, and they made it a close game. So, but anyway, you know, of all things considered, Kentucky did get the W. We go to 3-0 and now, and let's just be proud of that. We are still, I think, for, I believe, first place in the SEC East. For two weeks now, it's lasted. Um, but I think Georgia beat South Carolina yesterday, so Georgia will probably jump into first place more than likely because they're 3-0 and as well, and they're also ranked in the top two. So, anyway, I thought some games were good yesterday. I liked the Alabama-Florida game. It was close. 
And if we beat Florida at home, that'll make our win look a little bit better because they, they kept it close with Alabama. They didn't get blown out like it looked like they were going to, but they didn't. Um, I liked watching the Indiana-Cincinnati game, too. And then even the Louisville game was crazy on Friday. I mean, we had some good games. You know, the... And then we had the SMU game where they scored on, like, a last-second touchdown. I just I just saw a lot of exciting scores, a lot of exciting games, and it was... And the thing is, all this is happening with crowds back. And I just love this... I just love it. It's back to normal college football seasons. And we got NFL today. I mean, just a whole weekend of fun. We it just this is why fall is the best because it was a good. My teams play once a week on a Saturday and a Sunday, and it's fun. It's always fun. The atmospheres are always good in football. And you can't beat it. It's America's sport. You gotta love it. So we got the Colts on today at one o'clock. I'm going to try to get home and watch that game, and then i got to work at 5 a.m. in the morning. So I will give you guys a recap on that game probably in the afternoon or so. But with that being said, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Kentucky's 3-0 and for the third time in the Mark Stoops era. Got to be proud of it. No matter how you get these wins, you just got to win, and it's all that matters. So... Kentucky takes care of Chattanooga and we go to three and oh and you gotta you gotta be happy. I mean, you can't really talk down on this team because they're finding ways to win. Even though they look like they're gonna lose, but they're finding ways to win. So like this video, subscribe, comment your thoughts down below, and I will see you guys tomorrow with a Colts Seahawks Colts Seahawks. Colts Rams recap. I'm hoping the Colts can get a win today to make the weekend even better. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Go Cats and go Colts.